שלום עליכם, it's a cover of Shepard here from King David's tomb, King David Kabbalah.com and we are going to give a small summary of the way that the light comes into the space that was created by the contraction how is that is shining out of that pillar of light, the line of light that is called Adam Kadmon so we spoke about before in the class of the Kabbalah of the Ramchal, the Sefer Klalim and we mentioned that there is the light that comes from the arrows of the head that we basically not speaking about, the light that is going through the ears, nose, mouth which is called in the language of the Mekubalim Achap, Ozen Chotem Pe, Achap and then finally we're getting into the spectrum of the light that is coming from the eyes of Adam Kadmon and the, uh, the light of the eyes is very significant for us because afterwards the whole concept of the shattering of the vessels which is a very very important point within the whole chain of what happened with the manifestation of those lights and the creation that is coming that point of the shattering of the vessels is very significant because then afterwards comes the time to fix what got broken and that's where we got into the picture that's part of what we're here to do <coughs> so we have light that comes out of the eyes of Adam Kadmon and that light is shining down and it goes down through the spectrum of the world of Akudim that we mentioned that is the light that came out of the mouth of Adam Kadmon so that light that is shining from the eyes is going through the spectrum of the Akudim and it gets its revelation from the level of the navel of Adam Kadmon and down and that is called Nekudim okay so here we're coming to deep understanding according to the Kabbalah of the vision, the dream that Yaakov Avinu had. So it says that Yaakov Avinu had a vision when he was living Lavan and he saw flocks, it says Akudim, Nekudim, Ubrudim. Okay, it's like three kinds of flocks that he saw in his vision. Okay. So let's give the literal translation of those words. So akudim, it means that they have like signs of of rope that is tying their legs. Okay, meaning imagine to yourself a, a white animal that in the end of the legs has like a circle that is like black or brown in the end of the leg. So that will be uh, as if it got tied all the legs together, which is akud. Okay, like akedat itzchak when Abraham Avinu was tying Yitzhak Avinu so he put all the hands and the legs together that's what it says in the sages in the Midrashim and this is the concept of Akudim okay how is that referred to the manifestation of the light that we were speaking about all of that so in the world of Akudim we have unity right it all comes together so like within the flocks it is the hands and legs that are coming together so it creates unity right something that usually is separated and here it comes as unity so also in the world of akudim we have the ten sefirot that are all unite in one point okay then when we're getting into the nekudim what is nekudim is dots okay so that's basically the parable is white animals that have dots on them okay <clears throat> also in the world of Nekudim we have also a world that is dots there's no unity okay different than the Akudim the Sfirot in the Nekudim each one stands for itself and that's part of the reason of the shattering of the vessel that we're going to speak about later on then we have the last one which is called Budim what is Budim? Budim are lines. Okay, so the parable is animals that have straps, like zebra kind of. But we're talking about like flock of uh, like sheep and goats. Anyhow, the point of the matter is that those lines are a parable for the fixing of the breakdown. The fixing of the breakdown. It's called the tikkun of the world, right? Tikkun olam. People are using this concept of 
you don't really know what it means sometimes, usually. So the, what it means, it means that there is the first shattering of the vessels, the vessels broke and fell down into the lower worlds, and then Hashem, and afterwards we are ourselves, <coughs> there's elevation that is create a momentum, okay, a whole momentum of elevation, we'll speak about it further on in length, but that fixing of the world of the Atsilut is called Budim. This is the lines that are coming in. Okay? And so again, the Nekudim and Budim, both of them are talking about the same place, but different times within the within the timeline of the creation. So the prehistory of the world of Atsilut is the Nekudim. And then later on comes the stage of the Budim, right? And the Akudim is above that. That's basically the concept of Akudim, Nekudim, and Budim. And again, we need to understand what is the reason of the shattering of the vessels. And we need to understand how we are fixing that breakdown and how we're building, how we're building the world and how we build ourselves. Because within ourselves, we have all of those levels, all of those dimensions of existence are existing within ourselves. So we have a certain part of ourselves that is broke down that we need to do work on fixing it. We need to work on elevating it. And when we are meditating on those concepts with this elevation, we are also elevating those parts within ourselves that needs to be fixed. And when we put it together, so we're building the spiritual worlds and we're building our inner world in the same time. So with the Shem's help to be continued for the meantime. Thank you very much. All the blessings from Yerushalayim.